to another lookbook video. I'm sorry I'm not wearing makeup right now, but I went out really uh, late last night. I went out at like 5 and I stayed out until like 1 because I did tell you guys that I was going to karaoke and it was just so much fun. I had the best time. Um, but the restaurant that we went to at first was not really that great. It was okay. Um, honestly, it was kind of, like, there's good cheap restaurants here. Like, I would have rather went to Chipotle to get, like, good Mexican food rather than going to this place. And it's called On the Border. They couldn't even make my friend's margaritas properly. Like, regular lime margaritas. Like, they did not taste anything like a margarita. I was like, we would probably get a better margarita at, like, Cheesecake Factory if we decided to go there. But, like, we wanted to go there because we wanted to get margaritas before we went to karaoke because the karaoke place that we were going to is called Round One. It's kind of like a whole all-in-one thing. They have, like, more stuff than Dave & Buster's. Like, it's a whole gaming place. But they also have bowling and they have karaoke rooms and they also have pool tables as well down there and they have like a whole food station uh, downstairs just in case if you want to get food while you're singing or playing or bowling. So it's a really fun place and that was definitely better than uh, the food but like the food kind of like ruined like it didn't really give us like a great buzz and also like because like my drinks were okay like they weren't bad. But, like, the, f the food that I had was, like, really subpar. Like, sorry, this is so bright. Like, I can't deal. I also didn't really sleep very well, and I just took a shower, and I have work at 3 o'clock. So, originally, I was supposed to be in at 1. <laughs> I'm like, I, there's no way. There is literally no way I could be in at 1. So, I texted my boss and asked him if I could come in at 3, and he said it was fine. So... I'm like, yeah, I really can't come in any earlier. I was like, I probably would have died if I came in at 1 today. So, sorry, my hands just got really, really dry. So, let's go into the makeup look. So, I primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer, and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the um, Urban Decay Pressed Powder. And then for my eyeshadow, you know how I keep on saying I'm going to use a Christmas palette, but I swear today on <laughs> I'm going to be using, like, for my next look, because I'm still going to be filming what my next look is later um, in the same day, because obviously I couldn't do it yesterday. And I need to get my nails done at some point this week because I want to get my Christmas red or green. So, but I ended up using the uh, Angelica Nyquist and Odin's Eye um trick-or-treat palette because I really wanted to use it yesterday but I'm gonna be using like the Merry Christmas palette today for my look for work and then I might I'm also like doing something after work too I don't know I don't know how I'm surviving but anyway so I just did the red look with this palette again because I was wearing my red plaid dress and I just really, really love this shade that I just wanted to do that look again. It's like one of my favorite looks to do with this palette. So now I've used this shade like three times, but it's such a beautiful palette. So I went in with Cemetery in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Vampire Fangs. And then I used Goblin on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I went in with Trick or Treat. And then for the brow bone, I went in with Wicked. And then for my inner corners, I just went in with uh, full moon. So that's what I used from this palette. And then, um, for my waterline, I just went into the Make a Forever Artist pencil in the shade, what, where, the oh my god, whatever black, brain fart, and then I just, brain malfunction, and then I used the Essence Lash Primer, and then for my mascara, I used the, I kind of lost my voice last night too, because uh, I sang quite a lot. I used the Benefit Fan Fest mascara because I wanted to use that again. And then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then for my face, I primed with the uh, Do It Spray and the e.l.f. Paragrip Primer. And then for my foundation and concealer, I went into the Lancome Tate Idol Ultra Wear uh, Foundation. 
my trusty dusty in the shade 120N. And then for my concealer, I went into the Tarte C concealer in the shade 8S Porcelain Sand because these are like literally my favorites when I want to make my makeup last longer. And then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath powder and then I set my face with the Urban Decay powder again. And then for my bronzer, I just went into the House Labs bronzer in the shade Light Level 1. And then for my blush, I went into the Rose Cut Gems palette by Jouer and I just used the shade Garnet right here. It's like a really pretty like deep red shade. I don't know what color I'm going to use today. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use the, I mean, I used the LYS um, pressed highlighter powder in the shade Brave. Such a beautiful gold. And then I set my face with the Milk Makeup Spray and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went into the Blend Bunny uh, lip liner in the shade Doll Face. And then I went into the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. So I thought I had brought this with me, but somehow it fell out of my bag before I left my room. And it was just on the floor here when I came back. But I had Bow and Arrow with me from Kat Von D, so I just decided to go into that one. Um, because I had to reapply it after I was done eating dinner. Um, and I was like, what the fuck? How did I not bring my lippy with me? And then I realized that I didn't even have it. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go. Bye. Hey, so hey there, guys. Want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I really need to edit my last, uh, makeup look book so I can post it. It's just been a crazy couple days. Um, I did work today, and I don't know why that's bothering me. I wore this uh, new Fender shirt that I got from work, and I really, really like it. This is actually the first Fender shirt I ever bought from Lucky Brand. I think it's super cute. So, yeah, I just worked three to nine. I was thinking about going to the village with my other friend to just hang out at the bar, but... It was supposed to be bad weather and honestly I'm so tired from yesterday I'm like I don't really want to push myself um, and since I already went out yesterday I didn't have to go out tonight but you know sometimes I get like sick of like the monotonous of seeing my boyfriend and then working and that's literally what I'm doing for the next five days and then I finally go out again on Saturday so but yeah, it'll just give me something to look forward to. So I um, primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer, and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the Urban Decay Pressed Powder. And then for my uh, eyeshadow, I finally did go into a Christmas palette. <laughs> but it's not like I haven't been using these two palettes. But I really wanted to use my Merry Christmas palette from Odin's Eye today. So I went in with the shade uh, Gingerbread in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Poinsettia. And then I used, um, what's it called? Hot Cocoa on the outer corners. And then I went in with Little Star all over the lid. I just really wanted to use that one. It's super duper pretty. And then, um, oh, I didn't realize it kind of creased a little bit here. But it's really not that big of a deal. And then I used Snowman on the inner corners, and it's just such a pretty, like, light inner pop. And that's everything that I used, and it's just super pretty. I love this palette. You you guys know this was, like, one of my favorite palettes last year. Um, and this is still, like, my most used Christmas palette <laughs> this year as well, besides the Rudolph palette from ColourPop. And then I just used Brighter Days from Blend Bunny on the Brow Bone from the Forget Me Not palette. And then for my waterline, I went into my Makeup Forever uh, Artist Color Pencil in the shade Whatever Black. And then I used the Essence Lash Primer, and then I just went, went into the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara again. And then I just went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then I primed my face with the um, Do It Spray and the <laughs> Elf Power Grip Primer. Sorry, I'm just tired. I want to get into my comfy clothes and... <laughs> get into bed so yeah okay and then for my foundation I use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation in the shade 1R02 and then for my concealer I use the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the shade LG3 
And then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs powder. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay powder. Sorry, I'm like kind of brain farming. <laughs> and then for my bronzer, I went into the Pat McGrath Labs bronzer again in the shade Naked Desire. And I just want to say my foundation still looks, it's not like the most perfect thing, but it's just has such a beautiful way of wearing off like it still looks pretty like it is greasy here but honestly like the rest of my face it still looks like naturally pretty I just love this foundation and then for the uh blush I went into the M Cosmetics blush again in the shade persimmon because I wanted to use it today and I really have been enjoying this formula it's really really beautiful and then for my highlight, I wanted to go into the Glam Light and Frosted Flakes highlighter. I just love and uh, am obsessed with this packaging. But honestly, like, I mean, this is stunning. I absolutely love Glam Light's highlighters. But I haven't picked up anything from Glam Light since I got this highlighter and, like, two other highlighters, I think, like, last summer. I am just so over their gimmicky stuff at this point. I'm like, they're literally just becoming a makeup merch brand and I have no interest in it. Like people like would get mad about ColourPop releasing like a million collabs and they think Hip Dot was just the collab brand. Now I think it's Glamlight and I really wish that they would go back to like food themed kind of things because Frosted Flakes made sense. Because it was a food themed product, but now it's like they they just throw too much at us at this point. It's just like a lot. And they really have not released anything that's just glam light since the Red Velvet Cupcake palette that I picked up like two years ago. So don't really have any interest in the brand anymore, but there's kind of brands that we just stop buying from because it's like, yeah, not really interested. And then I set my face with the Milk Makeup Setting Spray. And then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went into the... I couldn't find another red liner I wanted to use. So I just the, used the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. Because I really was like running out of time to get to work. And then for my lippy, I used the Onanzai Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Shadow Creature from... Odin's Eye and Angelic Nequist. And that's it. And now the rain starts. And now it's going to start pouring. It was supposed to start pouring like earlier. But that's also why I didn't want to go into the village tonight. Because it was just going to be pouring. So I'm glad I just went home after work. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys. I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. If my highlight looks a little bit dark, that's because it is. But it actually looks really pretty in person. So... I'm going to just leave it like that. And I think it's also the way that I applied it. I applied a little bit too much. But whatever. We can never have too much highlight. So I'm just going to my boyfriend's house. I'm off today. Um, I'm actually off every other day this week. I'm working tomorrow. And then I'm off Wednesday. And then I'm working Thursday. And then I'm off Friday and Saturday. Which is nice because I have um, plans on Saturday for my friend's birthday. Um, and then it's Christmas Eve on that Sunday. So... I work and then it's Christmas and I get to spend the whole day at home. So you're welcome for explaining my entire schedule for the week. <laughs> so I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil and then I set my eyes with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyeshadow today, I wanted to go into my Glam Light Chocolate Donut Palette because I only usually use these during Christmas time or during Christmas week because it's Christmas week already. So I wanted to use this today and just do like a good warm tone eyeshadow look. And honestly, every time I use Glam Light eyeshadows, I realize like just how easy they are to use. Like the I'm it doesn't make me like want to like pick up any of their other new palettes, but like the palettes that I have, they have a solid formula. So like they're just so easy. The mattes just blend themselves and the shimmers are just so beautiful on the lids that they're just a really easy formula to use. So I went in with sweet filling in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Chocolicious. And then for the outer corners, I just used um, Eclair and Double Chocolate and just mixed those two together. And then for the lid, I wanted to go into the shade Chocolate Sprinkles. And it's just such a pretty, like, 
it's just like such a beautiful sparkle on the lid that like they do have great eyeshadow and then for my inner corners I wanted to use sweet tooth so I just went in with that and that's everything that I used from the palette and then I just used um brighter dates from blend bunny on the brow bone and then for my waterline I just went into my makeup forever liner again in the shade uh limitless brown and then I went in with my essence lash primer and then for my mascara I went into the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara in the shade Brown. And then for my face, I primed with the Do It Spray and the Say Star Glow Super Gel Primer. I'm almost done with this one, so I'm just trying to use it up, like I said in the last Everyday Makeup Lookbook video. And then for my Tinted Moisturizer, I just wanted to go into my ColourPop Pretty Fresh one. And this one's in the shade Fair 1N. And then for my... Oops. Uh, concealer. I just used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Dark Circle Eraser and this one's in the shade 95. I love that concealer and then I set my under eyes with the Becca powder and then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh powder. And then for my bronzer I just went into my ColourPop bronzer because you guys know how much I love this bronzer. This one's the shade Alviva Beach. I'm still trying to hit pan on it. Ooh, I see a little pan! There's a tiny bit of pan. Oh, who's that? Oh. There's like a tiny bit right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a small little X. There's a small little bit of pan there. Oh my god, it took me so long to hit pan on this thing. I don't remember if I bought this this year or last year, but... These last so long, so I'm so happy I finally hit a tiny bit of pan. <laughs> That's funny. And then for my blush, I went into the Makeup Forever blush in the shade... This is their Artist blush in the shade Anywhere Peach. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, but just a really pretty everyday blush shade. Of course, after I filmed my favorites videos when I finally found the blush. Literally the next day. It's like always when you film is when you can't find a damn thing. And then for my highlight, I went into the highlighter that's in the Glam Light palette. That's why it's a bit dark. So I went into the shade Chocolate Glazed. Went into the shade Chocolate Glazed. Can you speak English? And it's just, it's really beautiful. Like when you tilt to the side, you can see how pretty it is. It just looks a little dark when I'm facing this way because I obviously have a lighter skin tone and Glam Light obviously caters to darker skin tones besides myself. So I don't really mind it. And then I set my face with the Do It Spray. And then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Wash Gel. And then for my lips. Sorry, just tired. I just went into my House Labs Lip Crayon again in the shade Honey Matte. I was just too lazy to grab anything else. And this is just such a beautiful lippy. So yeah, that's it. Um, also, I made a lot of progress in my book. And I'm up to page uh 272 so i only have like 70 pages left i read like over 100 pages yesterday and i've read probably like 50 pages or more today because i hit page 200 last night so yeah i am kind of like up and down about this book and there's some parts that i'm just like not really feeling it's kind of just dumb <laughs> Now I kind of understand why this is lo his lowest rated book, but I'm still curious to see how this ends, so I'm still going to finish it. I do love his writing. I really love his writing style. I really do. Honestly, great. But, like, just the twists are kind of dumb. Like, I liked the twists way more in The Only One Left. And I also ordered two more books off of Amazon because I want to see if I can get through two more before Christmas. I have a week, so I should finish that book by tonight or tomorrow, by like tomorrow morning probably. Um, I didn't think I was going to get through it that fast, but I was actually going to watch a movie last night and then my boyfriend said he's actually never seen the movie that I was watching, so I was like, okay, we have to watch it together, so I just decided to read instead. Um, but I ordered um, How to Stop Time by Matt Haig and I also ordered 
Ashley Poston's other book called uh, The Dead Romantics because I really wanted to read that after I read The Seven Year Slip because I really enjoyed it. So I was like, I really want to read her other book. Um, and Matt Haig is just my favorite author this year. Like, I think he's incredible. And I really wanted to read How to Stop Time because that's actually going to be a movie. Or it's actually going to be like a mini series with Benedict Cumberpatch. So I like, I had to read the book before. That series probably isn't coming out till like late next year. Like who even knows? But I just really wanted to read another Matt Haig book. So that should be coming to tomorrow. And then I did just order the, the other book today. And that might be coming tonight because it's Amazon. So it's going to take like less than a day to get here. So probably either both of them will be will be here by tomorrow which I will have finished probably that book by tomorrow morning so yeah that's it I'm gonna go bye hey so hey there guys I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today hopefully this is okay lighting I just got back home from work I'm pretty tired I got home later than I was hoping because this like guy came in at like 8.55 and I couldn't leave the store until like 9.40 because I had other shit that I needed to do. Um, but he wanted to tell me about like a pickup that he was having trouble with. But honestly, I think he was being a little bit impatient with, um, I mean, he's very nice to me because I've helped him before but he usually comes in around like closing time so it's like a little bit difficult to help somebody like five minutes before we close but whatever so I primed my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I used the um Kaja lip oil and then I set my eyes with the Dior powder and then for my eyeshadow today I wanted to go back into the Christmas Eve palette because like I said I am going to be using Christmas palettes this whole week um so I went into this guy because I wanted to use this one at least a couple of times before Christmas is over so I just did the same look that I did when I wore this sweater for the first time so I wanted to wear this gray sweater again I really like this sweater it's very cute so I went in with ice crystal in the crease then I darkened up the crease more with Nowhere, and then I used Christmas Eve on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I went all over the lid with Snowflake. And then for the inner corners, I used Silvery Dream. So that's what I used from the palette. That's all I used, and I love this look. It's so pretty. And then I just went in with Brighter Days from Blend Bunny on the brow bone. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And then for my waterline, I went into the gray liner, uh, Galactic Beauty liner in the shade eyeliner gray and then I just prime with my essence lash primer and then I use the benefit fan fest mascara on the top lashes and then the Maybelline lash discovery on the bottom lashes and then I prime my face with the um do it spray and the elf power grip primer I don't know why I brain fart on that every single time I use it because I use the same primer for work um, and then for my foundation, I don't remember if I mentioned that I ordered this on Saks website. They were half pricing most of Tom Ford's foundations, including the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. So this came today right before I went to work. So I obviously wanted to use it. So this is the Tom Ford Foundation Stick. And this one's in the shade 0, 0.0 Pearl. This is beautiful on the skin I can see why people love this it is so beautiful but it's also so skin like it does look a bit shiny right now but I didn't really like set it that much um Um, but I really, really like it. But the only thing is that I'm surprised it doesn't come with a, like, s plastic seal cap. And also, um, I feel like the packaging is a little bit cheap for it being almost an $100 foundation. But I do think it's a beautiful product, so. And then for my concealer, I used the, I used the House Labs, 
uh, concealer in the shade 01 Fair Neutral, and then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs powder, and then I set my face with the with the Dior powder, and then for my bronzer, I want it to be a little bougie, so I went in with the uh, Gucci bronzer in the shade 01, my favorite bronzer in my collection, so might as well use it, and then for my blush, I went into my Dior blush in the shade Rosy Glow. This is such a beautiful, well, it's called Rosewood. Such a pretty pinky blush. I just felt like wearing something a bit pinkier. And then for my highlight, I went into the Anastasia um, Loose Highlighter in the shade Snowflake because it's actually a stunning, like, super frosty white highlighter, and I love using it in the wintertime. And then I set my face with the Milk Setting Spray, and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went into my Tom Ford Lipstick in the shade Blush Nude. And this is such a pretty color. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know why my boyfriend is, like, annoying me right now. Um, and then also my two books came in the mail after I... <laughs> went to work but it's okay because I actually found a sample reading of this book online so I was able to start it at work even though I didn't have the physical book yet sometimes they put like 30 pages online that you could sample whether or not you would like the book so I ended up reading the sample at work so I was able to start it so I got another Matt Haig book I'm absolutely Lo in love with Matt Haig's writing that I really wanted to read another one of his books so I decided to pick up his other most popular novel which is How to Stop Time so I wanted to start that right away because I finished um The House Across the Lake last night um around like 2 30 but yeah I finished it last night I forgot to say that sorry and then I also picked up the other Ashley Poston romance novel, and this one is called The Dead Romantics, because a lot of people rave about this book, and this was also a New York Times bestseller, and I really did enjoy Ashley Poston's writing, and I kind of really like fantasy romance, like where it has a fantasy element to it, um, so I really wanted to read this book because the synopsis sounds so good. It's about a ghostwriter that is actually a ghost that comes back and, like, doesn't really like haunt her but like doesn't understand why he's still um like in between life and death so I'm really excited to read that too see these are both going to be great reads I feel like I'm going to really like these two books because I already love Matt Haig and I've also read Ashley Poston's Seven Year Slip and I really loved that too so they're both authors that I really enjoy the House Across the Lake was kind of disappointing. I kind of understand why people don't really like it because it wasn't really my favorite book. Honestly, it was probably the book that I was the most disappointed in out of all the books that I've read because I've pretty much liked every single book I've read. <laughs> so, because I've been picking a lot of, you know, New York Times bestselling authors, but also like genres that I would like and authors that seem to be really popular and I've mostly liked every book that I've read and I understand why these books are popular because they're good books but this one I don't know his the after reading the only one left and being blown away by how good that was I'm really surprised that across the house across the lake is by the same person because I know you know Stephen King doesn't always have a hit you know he doesn't always um write the best book I mean, he's a great author, but sometimes he has bad books. So I understand why this is Riley Sager's lowest rated book. And the only one left is pretty much his highest rated book besides like one other book, which I might pick up at some point. But I read two Riley Sager books. I kind of need a break from him because I was like, this book was not that great. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys, I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I actually forgot to film the clip earlier when um, I actually didn't see my boyfriend today. I just took a day to myself and um, I just got Chipotle and I got my nails done for Christmas. So I got green glitter nails with like kind of a candy cane 
green pattern this time. I don't remember the last time I actually did green. I think I did red last year, so I usually switch off. I did like solid red last year with the candy cane design, and now this year I did green. So I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. Um, this is probably going to be like the last design that I do for a little while though because it gets a little expensive. So um, so yeah, that's all I did today and I actually filmed my first part of my eyeshadow palette ranking for 2023 um, because I don't see myself trying any other eyeshadow palettes until January because I actually have not really bought that much makeup this month. <coughs> I've actually bought more books than makeup this month. I'm on like my sixth book this month or maybe seventh. So I got a hundred pages into How to Stop Time and I can't wait to read more. It's so good. I just started it last night. So a hundred pages isn't bad. Um, so anyway, I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil and then I set my eyes with the ColourPop pretty fresh powder and then I decided to take a break from Christmas palettes today I decided to use this Clarity Cosmetics palette I love coffee palette because when I was filming the ranking I wanted to wear at least one palette that I tried this year and I've been wanting to whip this one out again and use it so I just wanted to do a neutral look with it today I didn't have to do anything special and I think this palette's really pretty so I went in with cappuccino in the crease then I darkened up the crease more with Espresso, and then I used Decaf Please on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I used Americano, because I'm pretty sure I hadn't went into this shade again. I'm pretty sure I went into these two again. Um, I can't remember which one, though. Um, but I'm pretty sure I went into Caramel Cream Frap again, and possibly Macchiato. I don't think I've went into Iced Coffee again, but I wanted to use this one. Um, and then for the inner corners, I used iced coffee, and that's all I used today, and it was a pretty look. I like this palette. Um, I actually didn't, like, film, like, a clip of my makeup. I only have, like, the captures of me filming the eyeshadow palette ranking, so. But again, I usually always wear one of the palettes that I've tried in the ranking, um, in the videos. So I'm glad I wore this one. Um, and then for the waterline, I used the LA Girl Brown Liner. And then I just primed with my Essence Mas uh, Lash Primer. And then for my mascara, I just went into the Tower 28 Mascara. This is the uh, black mascara. And then I just went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then for my face, I primed with the uh, do it spray and then the say star glow super gel primer. I have so much shit on my desk right now I don't know why and then for my tinted moisturizer and concealer. I just went into the tower 28 one I'm pretty sure I'm almost done with this. It's almost empty. I love this Tinted moisturizer, but I probably won't repurchase it because I'm gonna try and just use up the rest of my tinted moisturizers I think the only tinted moisturizer I picked up this year was the ColourPop one, but besides that, I really am just trying to use them up, so. And then for my concealer, I went into my Tower 28 one. This is like my favorite concealer this year in the shade BH. And then for my uh, powder, I just used the Becca one. I'm almost done with it, so I just got to finish this guy off. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it before the year's over. And then I set my face with the Pretty Fresh Powder, which... I think I'm almost done with this as well. Yeah, a decent amount. Um, this would be my second one that I would finish off. I can't believe I haven't went through more than that. And then for my bronzer, I used my Tower 28 bronzer because I actually haven't used this in a little while. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to use it today. And it's really, really pretty on the skin. So this is the uh, Bronzino Sun Coast bronzer, and it's just really pretty. I think I like this one even more than the ColourPop one. Like the ColourPop cream bronzer, it just blends a little bit better and it's a bit lighter. And then for my blush, I use the Benefit blush in the shade Peachin. I just wanted to use it today, so I just went in with that. And then for my highlight, I actually use the Give by Gwen Stefani highlighter. I just wanted something really natural and light, so I just went into the shade Platinum Cowgirl. 
And then I set my face with the Do It Spray, and then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And then for my lips, I went into the Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. This lipstick is old, but it's still a great lipstick, and it's kind of hard for me to declutter Bite Beauty because they're no longer available, so really really love these lipsticks so yeah that's it bye okay so hey there guys i want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today so i just got home from work i'm pretty friggin wiped um it was very busy today and i don't know i was just tired so i primed my eyes with the uh anastasia eye primer i forgot for a second and then i used the kaja lip oil and then i set my eyes with the Urban Decay pressed powder and then for my eyeshadow today I wanted to use the Merry Christmas palette and the Merry Christmas Eve palette together so I did finally do that and I used two of the mattes from the Christmas Eve palette I wanted to go in with this green one so I used Just Now in the crease and then I used Night Sky on the outer corners and then the other two colors that I used were from the Merry Christmas palette and I used um, New Leaf in the defining area. And then for the lid, I went in with Elf Wish, which is that stunning multi-chrome. Um, and then for the inner corners, um, I went back into the Merry Christmas palette. And I took the shade Snow Light, which is a really beautiful gold. And I popped that on the inner corners. And then I put just now on the Laura lash line but it kind of faded and I had to constantly go over it with concealer because it like smudged a lot I don't know if I'm really gonna be doing that anymore to be honest because like it always gets messed up and I know people say to spray it but every time I spray it like it doesn't help me I don't know what's what's wrong with my eyes sometimes but I really like how the look turned out I think it looks really beautiful and then for the in very inner part I just went in with a little bit of Jingle Bell from the Merry Christmas palette so I used like three shades each from both so I think it turned out really pretty um and then I primed my uh lashes with the Essence Lash Primer and then I just used my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade black um and then for the mascara I went into the my Valentino mascara because I haven't used this in a while um but I kind of understand why I stopped using this for a little bit is because it does transfer. But I kind of just redid the eyeshadow a bit when I got home because I don't know. I mean, the eyeshadow still looked really pretty, actually. The eyeshadow was the thing that actually looked the best. It was the mascara that transferred and the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. But the eyeshadow itself still looked pretty good. And then I just used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then I primed my eyes with the, um, I mean, I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And then for my foundation, I went back into the Tom Ford Foundation Stick. This is the Traceless Foundation Stick in the shade 0, 0.0 Pearl. And I got this for half price, so I wanted to use it again. I also filmed this whole look because I wanted to do at least one Christmas look on my channel. Um, and then for my concealer, I went into the Urban Decay Naked Quickie Concealer in the shade 10NN. And I used this to see if my foundation wasn't going to wear off my nose again because it did that the first time with this. And then the second time that I used it, it did the same thing. It, it literally rubbed off like the whole middle of my nose. But that's like the only part that it like comes off. Like it looks so good in the in the rest of my face, but... I don't know why it keeps on doing that. It's not like I wiped my face like this. So I don't know. It was weird. And then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath powder. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay powder. And then for my bronzer, I went into the Gucci bronzer in the shade 01. And then for my blush, I wanted to go into my Gwen Stefani duo. So this is the Feeling Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo in the shade Flirty Talk. And I just mixed the two shades together. Really, really nice blushes. I really, really like these. And then for the highlight, I went into the Give Me Glow highlighter in the shade Halo. Because it's just a beautiful, blinding, like, lime green highlighter. It's so pretty. And then I set my face with the uh, 
Milk Makeup Setting Spray, and then I set my brows with the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and then for my lips, I went into ColourPop's Minute Man for my lip liner, and then for my lipstick, I went into the Urban Decay Lip Bond in the shade Safe Word. I really like these. I think they're really nice on the lips, and it's just a really good shade for me to wear with this look. So yeah, um, that's it. Bye! Okay, so hey there guys. So this is the last look of the video. So I want to tell you guys what I wore today. Um, and if I don't uh, see you guys before one of these videos is posted, I think this is going to be the last one until after Christmas. I just want to say happy holidays and Merry Christmas. So I'm continuing with the Christmas palettes. Um, so I primed my eyes with, I just wanted to get out of the house today. I just went and saw my boyfriend, but um, I wanted to spend like a while with him because I'm not gonna be able to see him again until like Wednesday which kind of sucks because we're gonna be spending Christmas with our families so yeah just sucks but um and then I I'm celebrating my friend's birthday tomorrow so we're gonna be out like all day we're going to see Wonka and then um we're going out to dinner with our two other friends and then we're going back to his place to play games with them so I'm really excited so I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyeshadow today, I wanted to go back into the Blend Bunny Cosmetics All Done Up palette. Um, this palette is just so pretty, and it was such a good holiday release last year, and I love that you can just... It's such a functional palette because you can use it for more than just Christmas, so I'm sorry if it's not bright enough I kind of um let me just adjust it a little I don't know if you guys can see there we go that's better um so for my eyeshadow I used the I wanted to do the greens today so I used vision in the crease then I darkened up the crease more with muse and then I used shapely on the outer corners I love that you can just go down the row with blend bunny it just makes it so easy and then for the lid, I used Shine, and this one is such a stunning, like, super beautiful, bright green shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. You can see, like, the reflectiveness there. It's a lot more, like, green in person. My lighting is just horrible. It's coming off, like, straight-up silver right now, but if you have this palette, you know what I'm talking about. And then for the brow bone I went in with knockout which is like a super bright white and then for the inner corners I went in with accentuate because I wanted to use the silver today I usually do green and gold together but I wanted to use the silver today I just thought it was a little bit more Christmassy like kind of like silver bells so yeah that's what I used today and I'm glad I got to do two looks with this palette for during Christmas time so I'm glad I got to whip this out and use it again a couple of times because it's really a great palette this is actually the only blend bunny palette that I own because it's like neutral and a little colorful um, I have the forget-me-not palette but I don't use that as an eyeshadow palette and then for my waterline I just went in with my LA girl brown liner and then for my mascara um, I just primed with my Essence Lash Primer, and then I used the ColourPop Lengthening Mascara in the shade Brown. And then I set, um, and then for my face, I didn't use anything on the bottom lashes. I don't know why I was going to say that. <laughs> I have to figure out what I'm wearing tomorrow, though, because I am going to use the Christmas Eve palette tomorrow, because I want to get one more use out of that before Christmas is over. Um... And then I'm probably going to use the Glam Light Pie palette on Sunday. And then Monday I'm probably going to use the, or most likely use the ColourPop Rudolph palette. Because I always use that on Christmas. So let me just tell you my whole plan. And then I prime my face with the Do It Spray and the Cali Ray. No, the Do It Spray and the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I'm tired, I'm sorry. And then for my Tinted Moisturizer, I use the... Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint in the shade The One. And then for my concealer, I use the uh, Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer in the shade 
And then I set my under eyes with the Becca powder. Again, I'm almost done with it. I'm like using it up little by little. I love this powder though. Like it really is not a chore for me to use it up because it's such a blurring, beautiful under eye powder. And then for my face, I just set it with the ColourPop powder. And then for my, the Pretty Fresh powder. And then for my bronzer, I went into my Makeup by Mario bronzer today. The Soft Sculpt bronzer in the shade Light. I was about to go into the ColourPop one again, but then I was like, let me use the Makeup by Mario one because I haven't used it this week yet. Um, and then for my blush, I used the... Dem why do I always say her name wrong? Danessa Myricks. I was going to say Demessa. <laughs> She's a mess. The Danessa Myricks Beauty Cream Blush in the, the Yummy Skin Cream Blush in the shade Jubilee. This is such a stunning cream blush. And I just thought this would be really pretty today. And then for my highlights, I wanted to go into the Noctilucent palette because this palette is phenomenal. And I use it every chance that I get. This is probably my most used highlighters this year is this palette because they're just phenomenal. I like can never get enough of this palette. I might use it tomorrow too and just use like the blue shade again. But it's just, oh, it's such a good palette. And then I use the shade Enlighten for my highlighter. It's insane. These highlighters are just phenomenal quality. If I can't get a highlighter to show up, I just pop one of these on top. I'm like, well, this isn't working for me. Grabbing my Noctilucent palette. And then the Blend Bunny Bare... Uh, I don't know I can never remember the name of this palette. The Bare Cheeks palette and the Noctilucent palette sit next to me all the time. And I'm like, well, if I can't get a blush to work, then I'll just go into the Bare Cheeks palette. Like, Blend Bunny's no joke. Their formula's phenomenal. I almost used this one today, but I wanted to use the Danessa Myricks one today because I use the Blend Bunny a shit ton, so that's probably my most used uh, blush palette this year, <laughs> even though I've only had that for like two months, but I love it so much, and then I set my face with the Milk Makeup Spray, and then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Wash Gel. I have to get my uh, Best in Beauty filmed soon, too. I filmed my first half of the palette ranking, of my eyeshadow palette ranking, but I have to film the second half, but that will be going up soon, as soon as I film the top 10. Maybe I'll do that on Christmas, but I really don't want to film on Christmas. Like, I just want to relax the entire day and watch Christmas movies. And then for the lipstick, I went into the Star Wars lipstick in the shade Dark Lord. I haven't used this in a hot, hot second, and I wanted to use it today, and... This lipstick is so stunning. I love it so much. So I, I'm glad that I decided to go into that. So yeah, that's it. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope everyone has a great one. And let me know what your favorite look was in the description. I mean, the description box in the comments below. I always forget to say like, ha I like having you guys tell me which one was your favorite look was in your comments because I always forget to say it at the end every single time but finally remembered so yeah I hope you guys get the presents you want if you don't get presents I hope you just spend it with your family and I hope you guys have a really good time because I know again Christmas is a hard time for some people so I'm giving you guys a hug and I hope you guys are doing okay um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> I was like, I'm forgetting something and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't film an out, like my usual outro. So please, I could subscribe, follow me on my Instagram at tbw819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. And yeah, take care. Bye. <laughs>